As a strategic thinker, you are able to look at the market landscape and its players and figure out a way to win. It has carry over to every aspect of your business from building brands and products to crafting the messaging to fulfilling the product or service and then to delighting your customers. Let's talk about a few reasons why strategic thinking is the big unlock and why it makes sense to master this meta skill. Long-term mindset. A strategic thinker is a long-term thinker. Most of us operate in tactical short-term choices there's nothing wrong with that, that's how we execute. But the issue is if that's the only thing we do, if we only think in short term. We need points in time to take a pause and reflect on long-term consequences of our decisions. It's the long-term thinking that gets us outsized asymmetric returns because we can begin to connect the series of short-term actions and improvements and have it compound over an extended period of time to get our big exponential wins. You could, for example, churn out new products and different niches trying to get traction, or you could focus on one product and make improvements that compound over a long period of time and delivers value to the marketplace. Second order consequences. A strategic thinker understands the second order consequence of decisions that we need to make. It helps us be less reactionary and more thoughtful about the decisions we need to make. It's not just what the direct impact of taking an action is, it's the potential consequence or issue that occurs when you take that action. Let's say we hit a growth plateau and now we go open up a new channel of acquisition. Let's say in this example, we start with paid advertising and then we decide to expand to outreach via cold email. But the second order consequence is we need to divide our attention and resources between two channels, which reduces efficiency as a whole, which means we're spending more in terms of dollars and time and getting less in return. Problem solving. Being a strategic thinker means you are a problem solver. Value is created when you solve problems. The bigger the problem, the more value you are effectively creating by solving that problem. Solving problems is a skill unto itself. We need to be able to size up a problem, break it down into its component parts, and solve each part. And that's effectively how we solve problems of any size. Regardless of whether we're doing business strategy, product strategy, marketing strategy, technology operation strategy, we're solving different types of problems. You want to enter a new market? You're solving a problem. You want to turn around a declining business? You're solving another type of problem. Strategic thinking and problem solving go hand in hand. Storytelling. A strategic thinker is a good storyteller. You're a clear communicator. At some point as a strategic thinker, you need to sell your idea and get buy-in. Clear thinking will help lead to a compelling and persuasive story. The interesting thing is that thinking and storytelling kind of feed off one another. What this means is the act of writing a strategy story will help clarify your thinking itself. A strategy, whether a one page or 10 page document will ultimately need to be constructed as a story because stories are an effective way to communicate an idea. It's no surprise that good strategies tend to also be good storytellers. Decision making. A strategic thinker is a decision maker. If you get stuck easily and can't seem to take a call on how to move forward, well, strategic thinking can help you make a decision. You always have limited time, people, capital, so you have to make decisions. It doesn't mean that if you become a strategic thinker, all your decisions will, will be correct. Uh, not at all. Plenty of smart people make wrong decisions, but it will help improve the probability of making the right decision and improve the quality of the decision because you will have a clear rationale on how you arrived at that decision. This is because you're able to identify options, develop a criteria, and allow you to evaluate options so you make a decision that gives you the best chance of success. And more importantly, it will help you move forward and make progress so you can get to your objective. Synthesis. A strategic thinker is a synthesizer. You can look across topics and genres and begin to connect the dots and form insights that give you an edge. Maybe you observe an action in a company that isn't in your industry, but you can see how you can adopt it in your industry. You're a sponge who can absorb large amounts of data and observations, and you can make sense of all that information with common themes and patterns that can often lead to aha moments. Force multiplier. A strategic thinker knows how to look for force multipliers. These are assets and capabilities in a business that will give you large, broad-based impact Maybe it's a technology asset or AI that improves the productivity of your entire operations and reduces the cost of the whole business. Maybe it's a new sales script 
that lifts the sales conversion of the entire sales team. A strategic thinker understands leverage and looks at points of leverage where you can do more with less and get a much larger impact for each unit of force that you use. You can begin to see the value in being a strategic thinker and why every leader needs to be a strategic thinker. A strategic thinker is able to go from ambiguity to clarity, which is why strategic thinking is often synonymous with clear thinking and help you go from idea to action. So you can approach any problem with a system that will help you solve that problem in a fuller and more fundamental way, instead of in a band-aid or tactical way. If you're enjoying the strategy content and you wanna get access to the tools and training to help you make strategy, then head over to my website, overnightstrategist.com. I've got a bunch of tools and frameworks to inspire your strategy making. Thanks and see you soon.